Okay. Hello. Here we Hello. are. Good, Good morning. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Let's see. I want to make one more banner. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Let's see. What is a new hobby you mm -hmm. would like to try? There we go. Boom. We got it. Let's introduce ourselves while we wait for everyone else to introduce themselves. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, hi, my name is Kate. I am from the United States of America, originally from Portland, Oregon, but now I live in San Giovanni in Persichetto, and I have been in Italy for three and a half years. Dun -dun. And I'm Kendra. Let's see if I can do the, the <laughs> no. right side. Um, mm -hmm. I'm from Seattle. So we're both from the United States, the West Coast. Um, I've lived and worked in Bologna for almost two years and I'm 29 years old. And today I'm wearing my glasses and my hair's in a ponytail because I'm feeling a bit lazy, which I think is normal in quarantine. <laughs> Ding. Mm -hmm. normal. Let's read who we got. Hi, I'm Marco from Galerate. Nice to meet you, Marco. Welcome. Where's Galerate? Yeah. <laughs> I don't recognize this city. Tell us, Marco, where is Galerate? Mm -hmm. Then, hi, I'm Antonella from Pescara. Hi, Antonella. Good morning, everyone. I'm from Milan. Hi, Daniela. Nice to see you. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, and we actually have a special question for you guys. So introduce yourself in the comments, but also tell us what's a new hobby you'd like to try maybe during yeah. quarantine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Alessandro from Treviso. Hi, I recognize you. Welcome back, Alessandro. And then Marco said Galarate is near Malpensa Airport. Okay, I know okay. where Malpensa Airport is. Okay. That's normally where I fly out of if I go home. Oh, really? But I'm not gonna do that anymore because what? What? <laughs> it's such a pain in the butt mm -hmm. to get to Malpensa from Bologna. Really? Like there, there's a bus, but then the bus is like four hours there. If you take the train, you have to take two trains. You have to take Why? one because Malpensa is outside of Milan. Mm -hmm. So you have to take one train to Milan Centrale and then another one to the airport. Why are you flying out of Malpensa? Is it because there's a direct flight? No, it's just cheaper. Uh oh. <laughs> just because Kendra's cheap. That's why. Oh, okay. Well, Kendra, I have to say it saves you money, but you pay in hardship. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking in the future, just pay the extra cost to fly out of Bologna and it will be so much easier. Because I went, you know this, I went home for the first time after a year and a half this Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and it, getting there, I took a bus, but my flight was really early the next morning. So they didn't have a bus that was late, like during the night or a train during the night. So I had to take the bus the day before and stay the night at the airport because yeah. it was Christmas and the hotels were so expensive just for one night. Okay. And then and then I had to fly from Milan Malpensa to Frankfurt and then Frankfurt to Seattle. So after staying like awake all night, taking a bus, staying awake all night, then I had to fly like 14 hours. And then coming back, I took the train instead because I decided I'm not going to sit in the bus that long again. <laughs> um, but I almost missed both trains because my flight was late. I had to wait for my suitcase. I got the first one with like five minutes to spare. Then that train was late. I had like really late, like a half hour late. And so I, no joke, had to pick up both my bags, like, I was at home for like two weeks. So I had like a medium and a small suitcase. I picked them up, ran down the stairs, ran back up the stairs and was like running to catch this train because they were blowing the whistle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and my arms were shaking <laughs> afterwards. That's not going to work. <laughs> yeah. He's telling us that there's a fast train. 
There's a from, But does it go from Bologna Centrale to Malpensa Airport? Because I've not seen a one train for that. No, yeah. I mean, it will go to Milan. And then from Milan, you could potentially take like a bus. But yeah. Um, or there's more trains. There's a train that goes right into the airport. Oh, okay. So it's mm -hmm. nice, but it's just a pain in the butt to have to like carry your suitcases around. And then mm -hmm. if a train is late, so. <laughs> Which they typically are. Typically are. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Okay. Good morning, guys. I'm Stefano from Roma, or Rome. I'm at home in the pause of smart working. Okay, so the pause in the in the break in the yeah, we pause like a video or a movie, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. for our time, we take a break. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. um, smart working just an hour to to follow this lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Cool. Thanks for joining us, Stefano. Nice. Yeah. You're, okay. you're spending your one and only break with us. Yeah, I'm going to write um, a corrected sentence for you, Stefano, just for an hour. For just an hour? Just an hour. Good. Okay. Just an hour. Just an hour to follow this lesson. There we go. And hello, Tatiana. Hi, girls. I'm Tatiana from Lyon, another French student. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. And Hi, I'm Gianluca from Bologna. Hi, Gianluca. Good to see you as our always. students. As always. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, then let's answer this, our special question, Kate. What's a new hobby that you'd like to try? Ooh, okay. Um, I always love to try new hobbies. Now I'm considering um, eventually picking up the guitar because Ooh. I have a piano and, well, it's a keyboard. And I have, well, I also have a piano though. <laughs> um, and I have a lyre, like um, that old, you know, like instrument bards used to play. It's quite cute. Okay. It's like, it's like a hand harp. Interesting. And I'd like to try the guitar. Yeah. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. I don't know if I have like one that I'm excited about or that I really want to try. Mm -hmm. I've had like ideas. I looked at my roommate's piano the other day and I was like, it would be really cool to play piano. Mm -hmm. um, but like real, like a real hobby. I don't yeah, know. It's a real hobby. But, but I mean, in the sense that, that I would really devote my time. Ooh, I would give yeah. my time to learning. You would be passionate about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I don't really have one. Oh, there's fencing. That's another one I want to try. What about, um, you could try dance classes. You know, actually, okay, I'll say this. I would love to start taking like a Pilates class. There you go. There we go. That's my new hobby I'd like to try. Yeah. Um, yeah. Marcos? Okay, yeah, from Bologna to Milan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've taken this this train before. Um, mm -hmm. That was the one that I was running to with all my suitcases. Yeah. Running through the Freccia Rosa. Yeah. I've done it's it. It's awful. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm from La Quigla. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Roberta. Alessandro said a new hobby I'd like to try is learning to cook. That would be very useful in this in this time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Also, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to improve my skills in cooking. Yeah. A lot of cooking ones. All right. Gianluca, I would like to play guitar. Same as you, Kate. Nice. Cool. Okay. And back to school says hello. Hello. To the social, yeah. This is Leonardo, I think. Hi. Oh, I don't remember his name. Yeah, I'm I'm good at remembering names. Um, <laughs> I'd like to try painting. Daniela says, "Ooh, that's beautiful." Yeah, I do digital painting, regular painting. Regular painting, I never really got into. The only painting that I liked was watercolors. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I I would get frustrated like having to mix paint and then put it on the, <laughs> it was terrible. I tend to only use like pencil or colored pencils because then you like see how it's mixing on the paper. So I'd have to find a way to use paint to like mix on the paper. Maybe then I would be a little more open to it. Um, yeah. 
I understand your frustration. Watercolors are beautiful though. My grandmother does watercolor painting. Yeah, she's really good. She's won a lot of prizes in her, her city in California. Good for her. <laughs> Anna, hi, I'm Anna from Palermo and I'd like playing guitar too. I'd like to play guitar too. Yeah. yeah. In this case, yeah, I would say I'd like to because you want to learn um, and because I like, so need infinitive. Okay. Or I would like, sorry. I um, would like, followed by infinitive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I would like to try playing guitar dancing. No. Mm. I might do a Zumba class today <laughs> with my roommate just for some exercise. I've not exercised at all since this quarantine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, me it. either. Yeah, and I tried the other day to dance because I yeah. that's one of my hobbies. And um, I gave myself a Charlie horse. <laughs> Let's tell them what a Charlie horse is. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> and I, I've been limping for like a day. My right calf hurts and it's terrible. It, a Charlie horse is like a leg cramp, right? Or is it a... Yeah, it's like an intense um, muscle cramp, usually in your leg, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's bad. If, but that's why you're supposed to um, stretch. Because if you stretch beforehand, you probably won't get a leg cramp. But I'm... Yeah, or if you... Yeah, yeah. Or you warm okay. up, exactly. Yeah, warm up. I've heard a lot of different... When I was coaching gymnastics, there's there's always kind of, at least now in like the exercise world, there's kind of two thoughts of stretching either before or stretching after. Um, and there's like a debate on which is better. What do you think? What's your opinion? I personally like to stretch before, just in the sense, I like to stretch before and after actually. Um, you do both. <laughs> yeah, but like, the, the thought is if you're stretching before, you're trying to stretch your muscles when you're not warm. But then if you're stretching after, you could possibly overstretch because your muscles are warm. So there's this, they're both, they both have their consequences. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Antonella said something interesting. What is that? <laughs> De decoupage, De decoupage. Like when, I think it's like creating, um, like collages, maybe? Mm, maybe. Antonella, please tell us, what is decoupage? Because yeah. I've never heard of this. I've heard of it, but I don't remember exactly what it is. I think is it's it? like collaging. Mm, okay, okay. So like a um, mixed media art, kind of? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. But tell us some more, Antonella, because it's interesting. Mm -hmm. And you were right, it is Leonardo. Leonardo from Abruzzo. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I play the piano too. Nice, Marco. I'm terrible um, and I'm still learning. <laughs> but I'm learning to play with both hands now. Mm. Yeah, maybe I should just be like, Valeria, teach me. But Valeria is my roommate. She's studying, she's going to start studying for another exam today. She just finished one and now she has to start again. So I don't <laughs> think she'll have time to teach me. I, there's an app I can always recommend you that I've been learning with. Tell me. Okay. okay. Alessandro said, yes, in this period, I also spend my time cooking, in particular, cakes. Ooh. So then, Alessandro, we're going to use a different verb. Instead of cooking, we're going to say baking. Baking refers to making sweets um, so or bread, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's cooking in the oven. Kind of, because remember, um, we also cook pizza in the oven, but we don't say that we bake pizza. I say to bake a pizza. Really? Yeah. Actually, I might say make. I wouldn't say cook or bake. I would say make a pizza. Make a pizza, exactly. But like we can bake chicken. Mm, you're if right. We cook it in the oven. It's true. I'm I'm conflicted now. Yeah. <laughs> It's interesting, but yeah, normally it's for sweets or breads, but if you want to think it could be more like cooking cookie. in the oven. Um, what else? Like 
that in the oven. Yeah. Um, wow, we're getting so many comments. I need to catch up. Okay, Antonio. Ooh, my new hobby is to take care of my house plants. You weren't taking care of them before. <laughs> Now I'm taking care of them. Okay, I'm going to try this time, guys. I'm really going to try. <laughs> and it was Leonardo, right? Yes. I would like to learn more about engineering. Great. Cool. Hi, Valentina. Good morning. I would like to restart dance, she says. Good. Let us know what kind of dance you do. When I'm at home, I just dance like this. Yeah, that is beautiful. <laughs> it's dance so beautiful. The heart. It's a feeling. <laughs> I just kind of sit in my room and I... I'm a guitar teacher. If someone would could contact me, if they, if someone wanted, you could say, put it in the past. If someone wanted, they could contact me. Ah, good vibe. I want to learn guitar. Talk to Leonardo. Uh, well, it's a good excuse to go to Abruzzo. Yeah. <laughs> or you can do Skype classes. Why not? If you, Ooh, have, if you have the guitar. Play Stairway uh, to Heaven. Okay. Yeah. Tatiana, I used to take tango classes, but now, oh, now I have almost forgot everything or forgotten. Mm -hmm. No, I've almost. I've almost forgotten everything. Yeah. Yeah, I've almost forgotten everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, present perfect. Good, 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 good. I'm sorry, but you can take them again. Yeah, you can always take them more. Just like try to practice at home. Mm -hmm. You have to do this while stretching. Yeah, Antonio thinks it's better after. Hmm. Again, there's lots of different thoughts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, these opinions are coming from like professional athletes. So this isn't just me saying this. This is like <laughs> a, a friend of, like, for example, a friend of mine was, I don't know what's happened actually, but she was trying to make the 2020 olympics for weightlifting Whoa. like these are people who are like <laughs> that's really cool. that i'm hearing the different opinions from but nice yeah okay when you paint something is homemade okay that is true oh. and it's beautiful okay the decoupage mm -hmm. that's what she's saying oh when ah when you're oh when you paint something homemade like um i want to google this now yeah, like ceramics or like decoupage. I'm going to look. I would think maybe. De mm -hmm. Oh, I miss ceramics. There's another thing I'd love to do again. I took a ceramics class in university. And long story short, um, as soon as I got to throwing on the wheel, I was in love. Yeah, me too. I actually took, um, like, in at university, I took, like, three semesters of ceramics. I forget. Mm -hmm. I never got into, like I tried wheel throwing in the past, but I never, I did more free, free hand. Oh, it's the bane of my yeah. existence. I can't. Yeah, me too, but um, yeah, there wasn't a ton of interest for the wheel for the majority of my class. So mm -hmm. we didn't do it. Um, and I'm looking it up, Antonella. I read that decoupage is the art of decorating an object by gluing colored paper onto it or combining it with special paint effects like gold leaf or other decorative elements. So I would say like collage, but on objects. Whoa, that's yeah. really interesting. There's object decoration. Yeah, like object decoration. That's fun. I like that. I like it too. I'm gonna try it. Um, I have a big dream to start taking equitation classes. I think maybe she means like horseback riding. Oh, like like equestrian, riding. equestrian classes. Tell me if I'm right, Tatiana, but I think you mean Is it like horse? horseback riding or horse yeah. riding. Yeah, oh. equestrian. How do you spell equestrian? Equestrian. Oh Spelling bee champion, Kate. Thank right. goodness for spell check <laughs> still on the computer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love horseback riding. Mm -hmm. um, um, creating a new thing from 
starting to an old thing. Uh, maybe creating a new thing from an old thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you can say starting, but you have to use from. Yeah, starting from an old thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, cool. Beginning from an old thing. Originating. Okay, <laughs> I practice Latin American day. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, okay, Valentina. <laughs> that flamenco? I don't know. Snap. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I am not a. <laughs> and my my expertise is more gymnastics, not dance. I would love to take a swing dance with a partner, but my husband is like not a dancer at all. And so there's like no way I could even talk him into it. <laughs> I, would, I would be interested in taking a dance class. I would, because I would want like a class. Mm -hmm. Like I am mm -hmm. really embarrassed to try a dance if I don't know any steps. Yeah, <laughs> me too. And I've had friends be like, come on, just dance. And I'm like, or like do salsa with me or do swing dance. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you need to do, you need to do the class. But if you okay. do the class, then you can enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. But I'm too logical to just like feel the rhythm. No, I mean, <laughs> that <is not. laughs> feel the rhythm, Kendra. No, no I need the steps. <laughs> I need to study the rhythm. Let's get classes, okay for his smart teaching, guitar mm -hmm. lessons. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. There we go, there we go, perfect. Wonderful. Nice. And Tatiana said, yes, equestrian, horseback riding. Yeah, cool. Now, do you wanna do um, like just riding or do you want to learn how to do things like dressage, which you do, yeah, like the jumping and the, the, the specific canter yeah, the specific, like, I think that's, that's more English writing, mm, mm. what you're describing. Well, well, we did it in um, America, too. Like, you know, I was I was born and raised on the East Coast, and I knew a lot of people who did dressage. Like, they had horses, and they would train to do this um, in their competitions in yeah. America as well. But jump, isn't jump, jumping more English, though, from what I understood? Because Western writing does more of, like, barrels and roping um they focus more on like that's western western though that's like yeah. West coast western yeah definitely but i think on the east coast maybe it's more influenced by england then because they would do um specific canters mm -hmm. so like they, you had to canter in a particular way you would have to do the jumps the hurdles mm -hmm. and um it was really really like uh strict like yeah really I i'm pretty sure it's english because my friend did uh jumping she did mm -hmm. And it was all English, right? Mm -hmm. um, the only writing I've done was Western. And Ooh. the saddles are different. Cowboy Kendra. Yeah, cowboy. when I was little, I wanted to be a cowgirl. But <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There were like five jobs I wanted to do, and one of them was to be a cowgirl. Oh, I love it. I can see that. Absolutely. Just because I liked horses. That's literally the only reason. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. Oh, cross stitch. Yeah, I used to make cross stitch. It relaxed me a lot. Cross stitch is, is good. Mm -hmm. And embroidery, it's like a gateway yeah. to embroidery, really. Do we make cross stitch or do cross stitch? Ooh, do. I would say I think do. We do cross stitch. Mm -hmm, good. Um, but good. Yeah, cross mm -hmm. stitch is fun. What mm -hmm. else do we have? Uh, oh, but mm -hmm. now I don't have. Careful, Anna. Free time, time is uncountable. So not many, but we're gonna say much. I don't have much free time, so I've given up. Mm -hmm. So I've given up. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I understand. Um, learn how to dance um, with your husband, Kate. Ah, oh, there we go. You, or um, you have a lot of time. You can't escape your lessons. <laughs> Yeah. No, John, like you don't understand. When my he is the most stubborn person in the world. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't force him. Yeah. And he corrected something to teach. So maybe he said like, learn how to teach. No, like teach um your dance husband how to, to dance. Your husband? Yeah, or teach your husband how to dance. I don't yeah. know. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't escape. This is the time. <laughs> he would escape. He would put on a mask and gloves and be Go like, outside. I'm, <laughs> I'm going shopping. <laughs> I'm going by. Tatiana, good. Yeah, just horseback riding would be great. I'm too old for jumping. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to try jumping. I'm just happy yeah. riding. Yeah. I'm good not jumping. <laughs> yeah, I'm good not jumping. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like the traveling, um, in this case, okay, you say, I'd like um, traveling to become a hobby. Yeah, I'd like traveling to become a hobby of mine, I think you can also say. Not only, not just a pleasure. Um, okay, sure. Definitely, Alessandro. I mean, I wish, I wish I could travel as a hobby. Me too. <laughs> Maybe you know, once I retire one day. Oh God, don't say that. You were it's been a long time. <laughs> Kendra, no, have hope. <laughs> what? I'm not even I'm not even 30 if we think about it. That's like another at least 30 more years, 40 more years of work. I just can't think about it like that, you know, because if we do, then then I have to imagine myself as like a 50, 60 year old woman traveling, like the people you see that are in their 60s traveling. And it's wonderful. Don't get me wrong. I will also be that person. But I don't yeah. want to wait until then. I don't want to wait either. And maybe that's why I'm going to try to stay in Europe because it makes it a little easier. There's a lot of places really close by. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Daniela likes cross stitch too. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I think Antonio is complimenting one of our laughs. Probably me. I have a loud laugh. <laughs> yeah, nice loud laugh. Not yeah. loud, loud laugh. Loudly is the adverb of manner. Yes, um, Valentina. Yeah. I, okay, tell us, um, do you have a lot of surfing in Seattle? Not a lot, but people surf. Mm -hmm. I know some people who surf. Um, it's really cold, so I don't think it's something <laughs> like you have to really love surfing if you're going to surf in Seattle because it's cold and there are sharks. Pug I Pug found out and I was not happy about that. There are um, some sharks in the Puget Sound. Uh, I don't know about in the Puget Sound, but definitely because most people, if they surf, it's not in the Puget Sound. They go okay. out to. Um, so, OK, what's the best? Which way is the correct way? Which one it looks like Washington, the correct <laughs> Which hand? <laughs> I'm confused with the reverse. Normally I use this one, so probably this one. Okay. Um, this is like the shape of Washington, like mm -hmm. this. So mm -hmm. Washington comes out, mm -hmm. there's a peninsula. Um, <laughs> yeah, and there's water that comes in here, which is called the Puget Sound. So normally if people surf, they don't surf here, but they surf out here. Mm. But so what they is go that called? This one? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I don't remember. I just know like some of the cities along here. Mm. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's a there, it's a peninsula. <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself that I don't know this geography. Washington State geography. To be honest, if you ask me about Oregon. I know like Bend and I know Portland and I know Beaverton, which is outside of Portland. <laughs> and I know how to get to Washington from Portland. You know how to get to Washington. Here, yeah. this is a good. Olympia. Okay. There's um, Washington. Mm -hmm. So, so it's this like is the Puget Sound and people who surf go out here. Okay, okay. The Pacific Ocean, not mm -hmm. the Sound, and I think that's where the sharks are, not Yay! in the Sound. But, but I know for sure, but I could be wrong. I don't know because we do have orcas and um, sometimes sperm whales that will come into the Sound. Yeah, because it's big. Mm -hmm. We have some islands in the Sound. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I didn't know that. Nice. Yeah, Bainbridge. There's some others. Mm. They're really pretty. Yeah, um, I really need to see more of Washington. Okay. Um, Daniela, my house is full of creations. Wonderful. Nice. Of the cross stitch creations. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I love yoga. It's very useful in this period to relax and to move away 
Oh, okay. To move away negative thoughts. Mm. Okay. You could say move away from negative thoughts. Yeah. I, need to I don't know if she means like physically or like. You can use it in the abstract, I think. Like to move your mind away. We could say to move away from, but in yeah. the abstract, like not the literal. Yeah. Um, negative thoughts. Yes. Maybe clear negative thoughts? Yeah, you could say clear. To clear negative thoughts. To dispel negative thoughts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like yoga. I do like mm -hmm. yoga. It's true. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. We have so much to say about new hobbies. We haven't even started our focus. <laughs> I love it. We're just talking about new hobbies. Okay, good. I would like to try climbing. It's one of my dreams. Climbing? What kind of climbing? But I'm, yeah. I'm so, I'm so scared. Like rock climbing, Antonella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'd like to learn psychology. Very cool, Leonardo. Um, it's also one of my hobbies. My dad was a psychologist, so I grew up in that environment. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I always mm -hmm. liked the, I'd only took like one psychology class at university, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Um, and I love, like psychology of murderers. <laughs> this is oh, my here we go. Are you true crime at all? True crime. I love like crime and things like that. So I like to understand like the psychology of someone's mind. Why do they kill people? That's always interesting. <laughs> I need to send you some TED Talks. Because um, <laughs> you just reminded me of something. Um, <laughs> I used to do windsurfing and snowboarding, but now I feel too fragile for that kind of activity or that kind of thing you could say as well. Yeah. Ooh, I understand. That's cool though. Wow, so, Tatiana, you're active. And now she wants to do horseback riding. That's really awesome. You're you're sporty, you're athletic. Yeah, I, I just want to try surfing. That's my like big one right now. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Climbing. And Leonardo said climbing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, this one's interesting. Cultivate. I like to hoe or cultivate the ground for growing plants. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Um, watch cultivate. the spelling and cultivate. It's with a U. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hoe is only um, a noun. I don't think it's a verb. To hoe the ground. I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't sound that strange to me, but. Really? It's um, really strange to me. But it's I could be wrong, yeah. Also careful with ho, because that's also a bad word. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's spelled a little. No, it's spelled the same. Um, no, it's spelled differently. Okay, no, it is a verb. To use a hoe to dig the earth. To hoe. Okay. No, yeah. To hoe the ground. Yeah, I, I thought I've heard this before. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. No, don't worry, Kendra. The spelling for the other one is uh, you drop a letter. You drop the last letter. That's how you can tell the difference. Okay, it's just H-O. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, what are you today, Zach? Uh, great, okay. I love pets and I'd like to have a dog or a cat. Ooh, mm -hmm. maybe I'd like to try mm -hmm. dog or cat breeding one day, mm -hmm. um, particularly cocker, cocker spaniels. You don't say cockers by yeah. yourself. Cocker Spaniel, Cocker Spaniel, <laughs> yeah. Or Persian British short hair cats. Oh. I have had a Cocker Spaniel in the past and I have two cats now. Yeah. Babies, especially your neighbor's cat who <laughs> has become your cat. Yeah, he came by last night and he was in a weird mood. He was in a very bad mood. Mm. Um, I, all of my roommates thought so too. Apparently I was doing a webinar he came into the apartment and like went behind, tried to go behind the couch, which he never does. Um, but then he eventually laid down on the couch and um, I came, like I was looking at him and I was like, teacher, ciao, brought it. Like just say yeah. hi to my cat boyfriend. Um, and he was just kind of like staring at me which was really strange normally he'll like meow back or something um so then I went and like laid with him and was petting him for a while and he like calmed down a little but he stayed sometimes he'll lay on the couch and he just sleeps there 
and it will be time for me to go to bed. So I leave my door open and then eventually he comes and meows at me to let him out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He'll just like stay the night. No. <laughs> It's funny, but he was in bad mood. I don't know why. Um, sometimes cats can get into bad moods if they're in pain. So um, I don't know. I would check he his didn't... paws next time. Yeah, I mean, I was look, I was petting him all over. He was letting me pet his stomach, his back, everywhere, and he check, seemed okay. Check um, his claws. Sometimes, like if paws. he's not getting his claws trimmed, like mm. they can get ingrown claws. So if they're in pain, then they get. I I just. I, I feel like cats in general are pretty predictable unless they're in pain or they're hungry. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I, I know I know he also does not like to be uh, reprimanded, to be yelled at. So mm-hmm. it's possible he was yelled, <clears throat> yelled at by someone. Because um, whenever he's done things, he's not allowed to. And I say, like, get down off the table or stop. Like, I, I'll <clears throat> clap, like, get down. Or if he's scratching our couch, then he, he wants to leave the house. Like, he's, he's out of there. Let me see he's over it. So maybe he went to you like, I just got yelled at. I want some love, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I don't know. But Leonardo, I really love cats and dogs. Me mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. I also want a dog, Maria Teresa, really, really bad. Mm, me too, me too. Okay. I would even settle for something like a Shiba Inu or um, a Corgi, uh, oh Corgi, 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 but um, the, the problem is a lot of these dogs that I really like that are smaller don't have the best relationship with cats. Mm, um, true. So that's not going to work for me. Yeah, <laughs> um, I need a dog that gets along with a cat. Mm-hmm. I don't. <laughs> I like Chicho, but if he doesn't get along with the dog, that's not really that big of a It's not my cat. Yeah. For, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's your neighbor's cat. <laughs> Yeah. I go crazy every time I see a dog. I I love the light. street. I wave at it. You say I wave at it. Yeah, yeah I wave at it. Or I wave to it. Wave to it. Oh, wave to the dog. Love it. Look, I wave yeah. to the dog. Hi. I know, yeah, me too. I wave dog. <laughs> puppy. Yes. I say puppy. I'll shout puppy. I'll go puppy. Even if it's a big, big dog, I go puppy. <laughs> Yeah, a puppy. In English, a puppy dog. is a baby dog. But if I see a yeah, same with me, Kate. If I see a dog, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Actually, maybe our viewers can tell us what's a baby cat called. Mm. This was my cat's name. Really? You named your yeah. cat that? <laughs> yeah. Simple. I was only five years old, so okay, well, that works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Daniela, I'd like to adopt a Pomeranian. Oh, I bet you would be perfect with the Pomeranian. You've got to do it after the quarantine lifts. Daniela, get a Pomeranian. Live your dreams. You know what a lot of people are doing, which I think is a great idea, is right now they are um, fostering animals. It never works. It never works. You keep them. <laughs> No, well, you don't. Not always, but it's a great idea because, like, we're stuck inside. Why not mm-hmm. foster an animal during the quarantine? That's a good and then idea. you have that like experience. companionship and experience. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to, but then I would want to keep it. I can't. I would. Too. I would be <laughs> like, "What's a baby cat? <laughs> What's a baby cat? Let's tell them." Well, a baby cat is a kitten. Kitten. It's a kitten. That was my cat's name when I was little. And I would say, my pronunciation is different. I think you pronounce the T's, but I say kitten. Kitten. Yeah. A kitten. kitten. You drop the T's. Yeah, I like your... I completely T's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kitten. Normally, if it's a double T in the middle, I'll eat the T. Also, mitten or smitten. Mitten. Smitten. I say kitten. kitten. And mitten, and smitten. I don't know what where I picked that up from because I I know people from Washington who also say that, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I also know people who don't. So I don't know if it's something I learned when I lived in Georgia. No, <clears throat> because it does seem a little more southern to me. 
Um, yeah, they eat teas in Georgia. It's true. They, um, they'll drop consonant sounds like a T or like certain consonant sounding H's they'll drop. So, yeah. And we have a question. What is a Pomeranian? <laughs> Can you show them with your phone? Yeah. I'm yeah, looking it up right now. You're on it. Um, it's a really adorable, fluffy red dog. dog. Yeah. Look at this baby. Look at this angel. I, a choir baby. of angels are singing now at that picture. They're very small, very fluffy dogs. So cute babies. Listen, yeah. I love all dogs. Um, I made the mistake once, though. Okay, <clears throat> this was really bad of me. Um, I have a regret for this. So I love all dogs, but sometimes as a joke, I call dogs ugly if they're like, like smush, like, um, I oh, really, like pug. no, I don't think pugs are, well, yeah, I do call pugs ugly, but like, they're so cute though. Like ugly yeah. cute, you know, but, um, no, what are the dogs? I think the laps, lapsapsu, the, um, the white, I don't know what fluffy, dog this is. the white fluffy dogs. Oh my God, here we go. Hold on, you Google. I don't know this one. Uh, they're telling us in Italian what a Pomeranian is. Oh, it's like a little wool, a little fox. Yeah, yeah. it's like a little fox. Okay, not a Wasa Apsu, though I also think this about them. <laughs> um, God. What do you guys like? Little white dog. This is about hobbies. I like border collies. Oh, yeah. I said a little white dog and it me Bichon, okay. Yeah, like Bichon Freeze. Ah, okay. And um, yeah, Bichon Freeze. Um, and dogs like that, I think they're a bit ugly. And, but I, I think all dogs are cute. So I made a joke to my friend once that I was like, oh my God, that, that breed of dog is so ugly. And I was like saying it, but I still love all dogs. But she was very offended. <laughs> she was very upset. And I was like, oh, my dog is ugly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, like, ugly cute, which makes it worse. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's how I, oop, Gianluca. My and dogs. <laughs> oh, OK. My dog's parents are Pomeranian and Labrador. Strange but beautiful mix. Interesting. Can How I big is this dog? Sure dog? <laughs> yeah, it does it is it like small and it looks like a lab, or is it big and looks like a Pomeranian? Or is it medium and, and like medium. a mix between that? I don't know. I'm curious. What is what is a mixed mm -hmm. a Pomeranian Labrador mix look like? Listen, I gotta tell you, when I was growing up, our family dog was a mix between a pit bull and a husky. But she did not have long, she had, it was very strange. She had the body of a husky, but the shorts, okay. double coat, and the brindle color of a, of a pit bull. She looked like a dingo. Interesting. She, I have, I'll show you a picture later. She oh. looked like a dingo dog. <laughs> John Lucas said medium, not middle, medium size, 15 mm -hmm. kilograms. Mm -hmm. But he is chubby. Oh. <laughs> That's the Labrador, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. They can get, they can become chubsters if you don't feed them right, for sure. Yeah. La yeah. <laughs> Labrarian. <laughs> Labrarian. 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 It sounds like um, like an alien species. Yeah, like on Star Trek. We're, we're communicating. Labrarian. <laughs> Very strange indeed. Yes, I, I agree, Maria Teresa. Yeah. Strange. For I know sure. in the U.S. the um, Labradoodles are really popular. Mm. Labradoodles. I mean, golden doodles. <clears throat> also, poodles are really okay. Poodles guys are smart. If you've ever had a poodle, they're extremely intelligent. And to mix a high energy dog like a lab with a poodle scares me. I don't know what what's going to come out of that. <laughs> La I mean. There's definitely dogs with higher energy than a lab. Labs are, but they're both really smart because most of the time for like um, like canines for independence, like the, mm -hmm. the companies, the organizations that train dogs for people who have disabilities or are blind, they mm -hmm. normally breed Labradors. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yellow or black, but not chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But why not chocolate? Do you know? Um, chocolates tend to sometimes have a little more of an attitude. Oh. Um, yeah. One of my dad's old neighbors, she would breed dogs mm -hmm. for CCI, Canine Companions for Independence. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. And every summer I would go and she would have puppies. And I loved it. But I remember learning from her that they don't mm -hmm. breed the chocolate labs anymore. Mm. Um, because they can sometimes have some attitude. So the yellow labs and the black labs are better. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's really cool. Okay. Those tend to be the, the top choices for them. But yeah, poodles, I looked it up. They're the second smartest breed of dog. I believe you. What's the first yeah. smartest? Border Collies. Oh, and that's why you love them. But no, I just love them. I love the way they look. Oh, okay. Well, they also are beautiful. And you would actually, a border collie would suit you, I think, very, you very well. I'm just scared because they have, they have a lot of energy because they are, they are, they have a lot of energy and they are so intelligent. You mm -hmm. have to make sure they have things to do or else they become destructive. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Same with, it's, it's also the same with huskies. And um, my best friend in Portland, Shauna, she has a husky and a white husky with blue eyes, gorgeous, gorgeous dog. And her name is Stormy. And Stormy is wonderful, but Stormy, when she was young, they didn't, we didn't have a yard for Stormy. And they weren't exercising her at first the way that they needed to. So she would go crazy and destroy the couch. We came home one day, she was my roommate as well. It was like a leather couch. Oh, Just ripped to shreds. It's horrible. Should we tell them what shreds means? To rip to shreds. Mm -hmm. shh, shh, shh. When you have a piece of paper and you just make it in, into strips like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I start doing little. That's to rip, rip to shreds. shreds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She like just shredded, so shredded that couch. And oh. it was horrible because it was an expensive couch. And my what best friend Shauna has a temper. And so she went crazy. And I was like, I'm going to my room. Goodbye. Antonio made a comment. I love pups as well. Speaking of which, it's raining cats and dogs. Where Ooh, are you, Antonio? It, it's nice in Bologna. Yeah, it's sunny here. Yeah. There's a few clouds, but it's nice and sunny. Mm -hmm. It's heavy nice rain. And, dog. and I, I just realized the time, you guys, we spent this whole focus, not a problem, but speaking about hobbies and dogs and cats. It was a nice conversation. Um, but let us know if you have any questions about what we talked about. Um, also, don't ever forget about our MyS SOS English page on Facebook. Um, my thought um my thoughts also to those dogs um are being uh adopted or okay yeah that need adoption in these days i hope they won't be left after. i think she means are being adopted in mm -hmm. these days that they won't be abandoned is the word you you want it's very similar um to italian my thoughts also to those dogs that are being adopted in the in like recently in this in this period i hope they won't be abandoned later yeah i agree yeah. great people are always saying okay great wait uh, but it's cold i'm out with my dog oh john luca mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Bye -bye. Can you wave? I'll Hi, Paula. <laughs> um i think his sister paula also watches these so hello paula okay. <laughs> I enjoyed also, this people more. enjoyed it. Great. Oh, Very interesting. Have a nice day. It was a professional. To... <laughs> All right. Bye. Yeah, she's a professional. <laughs> Bring paper to shreds. Yeah, I believe you. Very good. All right, you guys. Stick around. There's another webinar in 10 minutes. But we'll we see you guys next nine. time. Uh, it, but not 8 to 9, 4 to 5. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>